I expect that everyone is here with a pen and paper. It's the digital age, so I won't be surprised if you are not writing because I expect that you'll be recording with your phone. The very first speaker is someone who loves to hate me, even though we were friends, even though we were in university together. He walked into my office and said he wanted to mend and walk with me. I should mentor him. And I looked at him and I laughed. And I told him the honest truth from the bottom of my heart that, look, I cannot help you. I cannot mentor you. The best you can do is learn from watching me. You must be confident enough in yourself that if you go away for a period of time, you will, as a matter of fact, be able to come back. If you're going to become a premium brand that can command premium charges, you have to be willing to conquer the fear of the unknown and follow your epiphany when the day comes. I guarantee you that you'll be uncomfortable for a while because providence usually doesn't tell you what you should do at the first moment. You are usually only told what you should stop doing and this will involve leaving the known and stepping into the unknown. I will tell you another story. Yesterday, I slept in this hotel because I had an event yesterday for a brand. And at the after party, Two Face was the musician called to entertain. And as Two Face was on stage doing his thing, my lawyer and business manager, Demeladi, said to me, said, Nawal, would you believe that these people were at their production meeting? I was in their production meeting last month. And since they said they didn't have money, I suggested to them that they use a younger artist. And I gave them the artist's name. And I said the artist would take about one million. He said they didn't have money. He said, and here we are. They must have paid Two Face at least three times, if not four. What they said they didn't want to pay. And this is Two Face on stage, just generally having fun. They will receive. Receive. And all of them are falling in the stands. And I looked at him. I said, it is not Two Face's performance they paid for. It is the fact that it is Two Face. The same people when I was serving under Alibaba, who wouldn't pay me 30,000, will turn around and give the same event to Alibaba and pay Alibaba 150. And they claim they didn't have money. It is not the talent or the performance, it is the brand. Now, so what did Two Face did? I don't know if Two Face can put his hand on his moment of epiphany. But you must remember that Two Face left Plantation Boys at a time when he did not need to. That group was already successful. In fact, as I wrote in this book, there's a chapter in this book, I, I forget which chapter it is, but, but I wrote a chapter in this book. The knowledge of yourself is the bedrock of all success. That I did it this way does not mean you have to do it that way. But it must come from within you. I promise you, you will hear that voice. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're serious about going to the top and you're working diligently, Working diligent. One day your spirit man will speak to you to do something. So during your waiting period, you have no choice. Wait, read, pray, do whatever. But it will come to you. Okay. Number two, living well is part of packaging your well, yourself properly. I'm not saying this to sound off, but you can ask. The dangotes of this world, the, all the big men, they respect me because of the way I carry myself. I don't fly anything less than the least would be business class. When I go to a hotel to be, what do you call that hotel? Just like that. Yeah, all right. I'm not saying that you should go and borrow to do this, but if you set your mind towards this, it gives a lot of respectability. These guys will not come to you and be because you see, no matter what you say about we comedians, we broadcasters, we masters of ceremonies, they still look down on that trade. 